The Palmyra softball team made a good start Thursday with three first inning runs, but in the process, they turned their Burlington County Scholastic League Freedom Division meeting with Riverside into a shootout, something they really didn't want it to be. We came in knowing that they have, you know, some offensive firepower, and they showed it, and you had the, in the first inning, the three-run home run, and some very, you know, well-hit balls. Jocelyn Epperson and Emily Schmidt opened the game with back-to-back -back singles for the Rams. It was freshman Skylar Warren who followed with a three-run homer. I just usually just go with whatever pitch I was given, just try to hit it as best as I can. We knew that we had to get back into the game, and we knew that we could, so we just kept to that. Just keep cheering, just get everyone pumped up and see what happens from there. Riverside sent 11 batters to the plate in a six-run first inning. Grace Scoliusa had an RBI single, and Epperson ended up with two hits. The second was a two-run single. The Rams' 6-3 lead only lasted until Palmyra came up to bat again. A two-run single by Jamie Livingston highlighted a three-run second inning. Livingston was four for five in the game. She delivered another big hit in the third when Palmyra pushed six runs across to retake the lead. But Livingston was thrown out trying to score on the play. It was one of six times a Panthers runner was retired on the base pass. Add that to seven runners Palmyra stranded, and it becomes easy to explain what happened next. Riverside scored three runs in the third inning to cut Palmyra's lead to 12-10. I'll tell you what, we're, we're a young team. We're, we're a very young team and it showed. But the biggest thing is, is they kept their composure. They really kept their composure. We came back, we hit, we battled back defensively. We got a young team, starting five freshmen out there. So what I like is the battle. I like the, you know, coming back. We'll clean up the defensive stuff. That'll come with the experience. The Rams retook the lead with three more runs in the fourth inning and took command with four in the fifth. Jocelyn Epperson provided key hits in both of those rallies. Whenever I go up to the play, I just try to stay confident and I just try to pick whatever pitches I can and just drive them to wherever I can and just try to get on base no matter what. We just, after that first inning, it was a little rough, but we all came back and tried to pick each other up and we fixed our mistakes and we just pulled through. Riverside totaled 16 hits on the way to a 19-13 win and climbed to 3-2 for the season. From Bob Kenny Field in Riverside, this is John Lewis.